this presentation of the Stirling engine especially focuses on its most important notion, the concept that is the real base of the invention of the Stirling engine, the displacer. The displacer is a device, is, is, is a, something new compared with what happens with the gas engines or steam engines. Those engines have no equivalent of the displacer. The displacer is a unique feature of the Stirling engine and is its main, main idea. The displacer looks like a piston, but it is not a piston. It will be clear in a while. Displacer is works within a chamber, within the displacer chamber, and goes back and forth. Is capable to displace, to displace volumes of gas. So, what happens with the displacer compared with the chamber? There is a leakage. This is the reason why it is not the piston. The connection between the cylinder and the displacer is not, is not a tight connection. There is no pressure. There is no tight of pressure. So, air can air or the process gas can flow within the leakage. If you divide the chamber in two areas, well distinguished places, an hot one and a cold one. The hot one is maintained hot using an heat source. The cold one is maintained cold using cooling fines. In order to improve isolation, thermal isolation, a circular ring, a gasket, is put between the two sections. So, what happens? Consider at the very beginning this configuration with the displacer on the right and air, or let's say helium or hydrogen or other gases in the other side. At the very beginning, the, the fluid, the gas, is cold. In a while, it will become hot. If at this point you move the displacer on left sides, the hot air is pushed through the leakage in the right side, and a while after it becomes cold, and so on. So, what happens within this kind of process? There is a point here where you can extract pressure and the pressure because when the gas is cold it is a, it has a low pressure when the gas is hot it has a much higher pressure so if you have the piston connected with the displacer chamber you can extract mechanical energy let's see in the details how this can be done Okay, this is a complete configuration of the Stirling engine. So on the on the on the top side you have the displacer, displacer chamber with the hot with the hot head, with the the burner, or any possible source of heat. On the on the other side there, there are the cooling fins and it is maintained cold. A channel connects the chamber, the displacer chamber, with the piston. So let's pay attention to the different phases of the working principle. This is a configure. This is a gamma type Stirling engine, which is the easier, the easiest to understand after the <coughs> principle is explained. <coughs> So, at the very beginning we said the gas is assumed to be cold. After a while it becomes hot. Then the piston receives a pressure and moves. At this time the displacer changes place. 
and the hot air is starts to refreshing, starts to decrease its temperature. But it is hot anyway, it is still hot. So the piston is pushed at the other, on the opposite uh, dead end. At this point, hot air becomes cold. So preparing the um, travel, the piston travel in the opposite direction, because pressure is low. At this time, also, displacer also moves and the air becomes cold, so completing the cycle. So this is a full cycle of the Stirling engine. Uh, another important question is to understand how the rods of displacer and, and piston and cylinder are um, actuated, are activated. Piston and displacer rods are connected to different cranks with a 90 degree difference on the same shaft. So this means that when one of the two moves, the other is almost stationary, with the result that when displacer moves, the piston is halfway between its top and bottom dead ends, and vice versa. This is this is the reason why the Stirling engine works, because when the displacer is stationary at these dead ends, the gas warms up or freezes and the piston moves according to the pressure, back and forth, back and forth. Those two representations of the Stirling engine are in the PV plan or in the, the TE plan. So, Temperature, TS, sorry, temperature versus entropy or presses versus, versus volume.